Anyone with a portable wireless device has probably experienced the pain of signal strength and the way it just seems to jump up and down unexpectedly as if it were taunting you as your Twitter status sits in cyber limbo waiting to be updated. Why is Wi-Fi so finicky? And what can we do to make it better? Let's take a look. Wi-Fi communication is very similar to radio communication. Data is converted to radio waves and transmitted through the air using antennas to then be received and converted back to data by another device. And there are several factors that can affect these waves and how effective they are. The first factor is location. While Wi-Fi can penetrate walls, the thickness and content of the wall can severely degrade the signal. Metal and wire mesh can almost act as a Faraday cage, weakening the signal strength or preventing it from escaping altogether. So placement of your wireless router in your house is critical to its effectiveness. Keep in mind that sometimes floors are thinner than walls. If you want to visualize the Wi-Fi signal strength in your building, you can use the free Heat Mapper Wi-Fi mapping tool to see your Wi-Fi signal strength in different areas of your house. Another factor is range. Ultimately, if you buy a cheap Wi-Fi router, don't expect to get much range out of it. Because the more powerful the router, the longer the range. If you do opt for the El Cheapo brand, however, here's a few tips to get the most out of your signal strength. It's a common misperception that you want to point the Wi-Fi antenna directly to the area that you want the signal. But the waves actually travel like this, so you want to position your antenna accordingly to increase range. Another thing you can do to boost range is focus the waves in a particular direction using some type of parabolic dish. And you can watch this Tinkernut Labs video about using household items to make a parabolic dish and which ones are more effective. Another way to increase range is to add a Wi-Fi repeater. And if you want to do that, or you don't know what a repeater is, you can click here to learn how to make your own from an old router. The last factor is congestion. One type of congestion is too many devices trying to use the same Wi-Fi signal at the same time. So limiting the amount of devices connected to your Wi-Fi may speed it up. Another type is interference from other wireless routers nearby. Whenever you live in a crowded neighborhood, there could be dozens of these interfering with your signal. So using an app such as Network Stumbler or Wi-Fi Analyzer for Android, you can view surrounding signals and their corresponding frequencies. You may notice that there are two different types of frequencies, one for 2.4 GHz and one for 5 GHz. Most newer routers support both, so you should be able to choose the frequency that has the least amount of interference. If you have any other tips or tricks for getting a better Wi-Fi signal, please let me know in the comments below. And if you have a question about technology or a concept you'd like to see explained, you can submit those at this link. Click here to watch my last video, and if you'd like to support my show, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, or donate to my Patreon campaign. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to tinkernut.com.